Have you ever struggled with setting up object tracking in Create and creating a smooth end user experience in the WorkLink app? This guide will answer all your questions. Let's start with this example and look at these object trackers for a 3D printed model of a turbofan engine. As you can see, they snap in place very smoothly, consistently, and accurately. We'll dive into detail on why this setup works so well. Understanding the basics of this technology will help with making correct decisions. Object tracking works by comparing a line model generated by a 3D model with hard contrast lines in the video feed. This percentage-based match is also referred to as the inlier ratio. Debug mode in the app shows exactly what's happening. It can be enabled in the settings menu by tapping the version number five times. After that, a developer settings button will appear. In this menu, make sure Debug is enabled. Close the menu with the X button and open your scenario. Once the scenario is loaded, during object placement, tap Tracking Debug. In this menu, enable Show Line Model and press Apply. In this view, you can see the line model generated by the 3D model. Red lines mean that this part of the line did not find a contrasting line in the video feed. Green means a successful match. Imagine the line searching for contrast in the video feed and unwrapping that result into a straight line. This is what you see on the left. The width of these bars is defined by the line search length setting, which are the dark gray lines sticking out of the line model. As you put the object in view, you can see the inlayer ratio increasing. Up to a point it matches the defined inlayer ratio tracking initiation that was set by the author. An inlayer ratio of 0.5 would mean at least 50% of matching lines need to be found between the line model and the video feed before tracking starts. Now that we have a basic understanding of the technology, we can start authoring by selecting a good tracking candidate. We can do that in the content placement step. Some parts are not ideal candidates, as they can move around, such as the rotors, or some can be partially occluded by others. Try to select parts that are static, with clearly defined edges, and ideally parts that are not occluded by other objects. In this case, there is some occlusion by the fan and the rotors, but this is fine, as most of the generated lines will still match the video feed. Right-click to Create Tracker from Selection. As for the device pose of the object tracker, choose an angle that will be convenient for the end user, as well as an angle that will generate a high match between the lines and the contrast found in the video feed. It's also worth mentioning that an end user can rotate the device pose by touch to match their point of view. Default settings should work great in most cases, but depending on each case, fine-tuning the settings could result in a smoother tracking initiation and a higher inlier ratio. Settings that strongly influence the generated line model are the Laplace threshold and the normal threshold. Keep in mind that the line visualization that you see in the content placement step is not the same as the line model the algorithm is using. To experiment with these settings, we recommend using the debug mode in the app. The Laplace threshold is an expression in millimeters. A line will be generated whenever the depth jump between surfaces from the camera's point of view is larger than the defined value. When comparing these images, you can see these lines disappear as the distance between these surfaces is longer than 20 millimeters, but shorter than 100 millimeters. So, a very high value will create a result that primarily shows the contours of your object, as the contours are basically an infinite depth jump. The normal threshold creates lines determined by changes in the surface direction. A high value will generate lines for hard edges, while a lower value will also generate lines for softer edges. In this example, a high value is preferred, as we want to avoid generating lines for the inside edges of the turbofan, they will be obstructed by the rotors in the video feed. Generally, we do not recommend setting this value below 0.1. The inlayer ratio settings strongly influence at what point tracking is initiated. The inlayer ratio tracking initiation setting sets the minimum inlayer ratio required before tracking can initiate. Setting this value too low can result in false positive tracking. Setting it too high might result in not being able to initiate the tracking at all. We recommend using a value between 0.4 and 0.7.
Reaching inlier ratio values of 0.7 to 0.8 during the experience are generally considered as a good result. After tracking is initiated, the inlier ratio tracking minimum setting becomes relevant. It means that active tracking will stop if the inlier ratio drops below this value. We're always curious about learning about your use case and improving our user experience. Please do not hesitate to contact us in case of questions.